Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're going to be looking at how you can implement 3D audio, specifically audio occlusion in the Godot game engine. We're going to look at two ways to do this. One is a free and open source project. The other one is an incredible deal. So pick which one works best for you. The incredible deal comes in the form of Audio Arsenal. If you picked up the Humble Bundle from last month, uh, it was available there. Now it's available directly from Ovani. By the way, if you use my link, it does help support me, uh, but it's 20 bucks for the bundle. You're getting a ton of sound effect packs, dynamic music, soundtracks, special effects, etc. But the key thing we're going to focus on today is this one, the Godot Audio Occlusion plugin that is part of this. There's also occlusion plugins for Unreal and Unity as well, and then some plugins for doing dynamic music. So if you're looking to pick up some sound effects or music, uh, the Ovani stuff is top tier. I've yet to meet somebody who isn't impressed by the Ovani stuff, but specifically, you're getting all of the rest of this stuff, but the thing I'm going to focus on here is this guy here, this Audio Occlusion plugin. This is the much easier route to accomplish what we're doing today, but there's also an open source option is the Giga Audio. This was released back in February. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I've seen an update since. Uh, so hopefully, you know, drop in, give the guy a star. Maybe uh, having some more exposure to his project will convince him to contribute more to it. It's a very cool project, much much trickier to get up and running, I have found. But this is a video that walks you through how to use it, sort of, not as much depth, depth as I would have liked, but still, I will show you the basics of using both. So we're going to start things off with the Ovani plugin. Super simple, basically download the zip once you've uh, purchased it, uh, and then you'll find in here there is a, an MP4 file that's actually training you how to go about using it, but what you're going to want to do is come on in here and grab the add-ons folder, or specifically the Ovani uh, ambient occlusion folder within that. So I'm going to grab the add-ons folder over here, and now we're going to need to create a a new project. So let's go on over to Goodell. We'll create a new project. Uh, C colon slash temp slash Ovani AO. And we'll call this AO. All right. So there we go. Get none forward plus fine. Okay. Go ahead and create that. So we create our new project accordingly. That's the uh, pretty straightforward stuff. And then what you need to do is open that folder up in your new project, like so, and you're going to need to create a director called add-ons, and then inside of that, you're going to need to create that ambient occlusion plugin, or literally just copy the add-ons folder, and you will get both. All right, so we now installed it. I'm going to head on back over to the Godot game engine, and what we're going to do is enable it. So if you put it in the right spot, it'll come in here, plugins, it will now show up, and it is available right there. Straightforward and done. All right, so let's just go here. Uh, we will full screen this guy. All right, so here is our project. The easiest way to check this guy out is just to use the demo that they've included. So go into the Ovani uh, ambient occlusion, and then what you're going to notice here is there is an example file. Now, the way this works is super straightforward. Basically, uh, it is using traditional uh, collisions in the world. So you've got over here, this is your 3D object, your, your character controller in the world. This is what uh, this is going to interact with. But what you see is if we go down here, we have the Ovani audio occluder. So we got this single speaker over here that is giving off the audio. Now you're seeing these cubes all show up. Well, those are um, voxelized sounds, basically, more or less. This is showing uh, where the, the preview of how the audio will play out. So if you're in an area over here, you're still going to get a little bit of audio. Here you'll get no audio. So it gives you a preview of how it is going to be occluded from that source over there. All right, so we can turn that preview off, by the way, if you wish. And then otherwise, you've got the single controller, basically audio range, and then you've got the collision masks. Those are determining, like when you've got the various different shapes in the world with their own collision shapes on them, the collision body for those things, the static body collisions, these are determining what are going to interact with the um, ambient occlusion, the audio ambient occlusion, the audio occluder, occluder over here. So let's go ahead and check this guy out in action. So this one is super, super simple to get up and running. Basically, uh, drop an audio source into the world, you add the occluder onto it so that the audio source is attached to your occluder, and then here we are in our world, and as we get closer, we'll start getting some tunes. They're coming out of that speaker, and then boom. Right? And then as I move away, so you see we've got these walls. These walls are going to occlude the audio, so it's going to get quieter. And then more occlusions, more walls in the way, more occluded. And then no audio, like so. And then we come back into range, audio. And then again, walls are occluding it, less audio. And then over here. This is easy, easy to set up. This is about the most straightforward you're going to get for audio occlusion for this kind of stuff out there. Now you're going to notice here, is I can have this dynamic wall in the way and notice how it's all muted now and then boom and then out. Now interestingly enough, while it, the wall is moving, it does not seem to update. So that's like 
I, I imagine that's a codable thing, but that is essentially how it works. Literally, you just add the audio occluder into your scene somewhere, add the sound that's going to play from it, and you're done. That is it. That's how easy this one is to use. Now, the Giga Audio is a little bit more complicated, so I'm not going to show you the entire setup on that one. Uh, one thing you're going to want to be aware of, though, is it, it does require a character controller for sure, whereas the uh, other one, I just could just have a camera in the scene and be good to go. So what I've done is I created this uh, setup here uh, with the Giga Audio stuff as well as the audio occluder. So we got Ovani's audio occluder going on over here. So you see over in there, we've got two sets of audio occluders. One is the Giga Audio way of doing things. The other one is the Ovani way of doing things. I'll show you with the Ovani first. So we got our character over here uh, and then Ovani set up. So go to the stream and we'll set it to autoplay like so and we'll just walk over to it. So do, 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 do. Okay, I'm looking at the ground. So we've got this little area over here. And then as I get close to it, so we got not gonna make this it. voice in here. Not and then over here, it, it's being occluded. Oops, did not mean to fall off the world. Uh, but you get an idea of what's going on there. Same kind of process. Literally, all you do, drop the audio occluder in and then apply your sound to that audio occluder. Uh, you can also do some neat things. So I can actually go to this guy and I could set up a bus. So I've already done one. I think it's called... Uh, so audio buses SFX. So I could do over here and this one I've set up some uh, reverb and distortion on so you can change it to the bus like so and we'll go ahead and run. And then here we are and we walk back towards that space. And there it is with the occlusion. And finally, if you want to increase the range or whatever, once again, you just pick your audio occluder and here this will visualize how far out it will go or you can isolate it very close like so. So that's the way the Ovani works. We've got another plugin in this place now called Giga Audio. Giga Audio does uh, the same sort of thing. Again, uh, more requirements in setup. So you see over here, this is our character controller. I use the out of the box uh, you character body off of the asset store. Uh, so it's the ultimate character controller. That's what I ultimately used as the base for this one. Um, but once you've got that set up, all you need to do for this one is you add an audio target. Now, these two things work a little bit differently. This one works via ray casting from the source back to your audio target. The other one is using a voxelization solution. So just kind of two approaches to the same problem. So now we've got this one set up. So we've got this uh, audio target uh, set up onto our character. Again, it's very specific for what it needs to be attached to. It seems to only work with characters. Uh, so I tried it with just the camera. It never worked right. It's one of those things you want to know. You do need to have a character controller for this to work properly. And then here, same kind of concept. So you can see that we've got this guy over here. This is an audio source, but instead of having it the occluder and then the source attached to it, this is a new type uh, that they've added here. So you've got here uh, off screen. Let's come back on screen. So, so, so audio... Uh, so you've got Audio Occluder 3D is what they've created. This inherits from Audio Stream 3D. So a little bit of a different approach to doing so. And we'll turn this one on as well. So a couple more things here. You can tell how much to occlude. So the maximum amount to occlude the volume by. Uh, and then you can have more rays. So again, this uses a ray casting system for approach. It's got the same sound effect set up. So you can hear it. It doesn't occlude as much, but same basic premise. Again, I do find the Avani one so much simpler to work with. But the cool thing here is there's a couple of other aspects to Giga Audio. The first one is audio regions. So in these spaces right over here, I've set up an audio region. And basically, once I walk into it, we're going to get a, a, a scary ass sound is going to play. This, By the way, the sound came from the audio pack, uh, the Avani bundle. So you see how it ramped up, and then if I leave that area, it goes away. So if you want to have audio regions, Giga Audio is very cool for that as well. Again, same setup. You need to have a character controller, and you need to have that audio target attached. But you can see it fades in, and then fades out as you go. Now, they've got another thing, and this one is much more subtle, and I don't know if I'm using it right, but this is another audio zone. So if I move into here, some audio is going to play. Different sound. But as I go higher, oops, I fell off the world. All right, let's go back over there, try that one more time. So we'll go back over to that corner. All right, the, okay, that one. All right, so here we go. So I move into it, 
And you can hear it playing. And then if I don't fall off, as we get higher, it play okay, I fell off the world again. So, like I said, it's a very subtle effect also, but this one is meant mostly for, like, if you're underwater. So the premise here, so let's go ahead and select it. So we've got uh, here, this guy, right? Mm. All right, let me just find it manually. So that one is a depth, so audio depth. So what you see here, this, the entire premise is, see this uh, uh, collision shape around here, this area right there? That is applied to the audio depth area. And then as you get further down into this volume, so down here, it should be quieter and then louder as you go up it. So there's a number of different things you can set up in the audio depth area. Uh, so you see over here, so volume at depth and then the minimum volume to play. So you can have it so that um, this is gonna dampen sounds. Like the idea is if you've got water and then you're under the water, you can be in this volume and then it'll play the sound differently based off of where you are depth wise. The other thing we had over here, this is the audio area. This one is pretty straightforward. You basically, again, it's a, it's a defined value with a collision shape. The collision shape is the boundary of areas. A straightforward box shape is what I use there. And then you can notice over here, this guy, you have the, the amount to fade, uh, the fade in volume, fade out volume, the speed to fade in and out. So we could speed out, like as you move in, in and out of this area, you can have the different speeds for doing so. And again, you can just use this to trigger audio into a bounding area. And you see here that, that, how it faded out as we left the space. I could come over here and change this out to, I don't know if this is going to live update, but over here. And then as we leave, it'll fade out at a different speed. So that's the idea behind these two plugins. Um, again, really, really cool. Uh, 3D Audio adds a ton to a game. Again, you can pick up the Audio Arsenal. Uh, if you use my link, it's going to be available for a little bit over a week now. Uh, it does help support me. But the key thing here is you do get this uh, Audio Occlusion plugin in there. And like I said, that one is the simplest to get set up. Literally, you just basically add an audio occluder into the world and then uh, the sound attached to it. And then it will use the um, the static bodies in your world to, to figure out what audio makes it back to the camera. And then this other one, a little bit more setup involved. Again, you do need to use a character controller, uh, which is uh, definitely part of the challenge. And there was a complete lack of documentation on this one. But it, in addition to providing this audio occlusion option, also has this audio area and then this audio depth system as well. Pretty cool stuff, in my humble opinion. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.